A 20% discount is given on the marked price of an ebook on cash purchase and 10% discount is given on credit purchase. If a person buys 70% of the ebook by cash purchase and 30% of the ebook by credit purchase, what is the effective percentage discount that he gets? Options are also given 12%, 17%, 23%, 35% or none of the above. Now understand, 20% discount is given on cash purchase and 10% discount on credit purchase. Now you understand the meaning of cash purchase and credit purchase? Of course, it's not needed to solve the question, but good to know. Cash purchase is the one where you give the cash instantly. You pay by cash and take the item. Credit purchase is where you get some credit. Okay, I'll pay you after 10 days or 15 days or 30 days or 3 months. You know, generally in business, uh, it's very common, credit purchase. So he says, if you give by, if you pay by cash instantly, I'll give you a 20% discount. But if you want credit, then you'll get only 10% discount. So basically the, you know, the, uh, you know, shopkeeper here is trying to get more by cash. See, he's attracting by giving more discount. He's giving 20% discount for cash and only 10% discount for credit. So that more people pay by cash instantly, right? Now, a person here has bought 70% of the ebooks by cash and 30% of the ebooks by credit. So what is the effective percentage discount that he gets? Let us assume that the cost of each ebook is 100 and the number of books that he has bought is also 100. So what is the total cost that he's, he should, he's actually supposed to spend? Are you able to follow? Cost of each book is 100, we are assuming. Number of books that he has bought is also 100. So what is the total? Total he has to spend is 100 into 100. How much is that? 10,000. So basically, he should have paid 10,000 rupees. Now let us find out how much has he actually paid. We know that he has purchased 70% uh, on cash. He has purchased 70% on cash. That means out of 170 books, he has purchased on cash. And if he purchases by cash, he will get 20% discount. That means instead of 100 rupees, he will pay only 80 rupees. Yes or no? 20% discount means it will become 80. So how much has he spent here? 5,600. What about his credit purchase? See, don't write this in the exam. Cash purchase, credit purchase. He will not give you extra marks for this. I am explaining it, so I am putting it here. Remaining 30 books he bought on credit. And how much discount that he gets on credit purchase? Only 10 percentage. So instead of paying 100 rupees, he will pay 90 rupees. How much is 13 to 90? 2,700. So what is the total that he has spent? 5,600 plus 2,700. How much is that? 8,300. Now compare. 10,000 becomes 8,300. How much is the discount? 1700. 1700 on 10,000 is 17 percentage. So answer should be option B.